Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Don, and uh, it's the middle of the night, and I can't sleep because it's been a crazy day uh, here in the U.S. with the election results finally being uh, completed, um, and had to work, and got this bad boy right here, and so I thought, what the hell? I'm up. I can't wait. I'm just going to go ahead and kick on the camera and do this raw and live and uh, just let you guys, whoever is up late with me tonight watching, come along with me as I tear into the box here for the HP Reverb G2. So um, I, unlike when I have my headset on and I'm streaming, I can actually see your... Uh, I can see your chat tonight just by looking over my shoulder. So if you guys have any questions as we go along, you know, go ahead and throw them in the chat. Uh, if this is your first time coming by my channel, man, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring that bell. You guys know the drill. So anyway, um, you guys know I have a lot of VR headsets here. Um, I, I, I really loved the Reverb G1, um, which I have right here. So uh, this is the first generation um, Reverb, and I gotta tell you, you know, it was a solid headset when it came to the, the crisp visuals. It had decent enough audio. It's lightweight. It had the form factor of the original Oculus Rift CV1. So, you know, already it was a complete home run um, for HP. However, they didn't position it for the gaming market. They, they positioned it for the enterprise market at a time when gamers were hungry for those crisp resolution visuals. So basically at the end of its life cycle, HP finally started to, uh, you know, promote it as a gaming headset, but it suffered from one huge drawback and that is Windows Mixed Reality. That's right. You know, Windows Mixed Reality is not horrible, but it's not the best solution when it comes to tracking using the two camera solution. As we know, a lot of other companies have already built off of that. Oculus, you know, they, they went crazy and put cameras everywhere. I mean, everybody's doing it now. So uh, HP kind of came to the table and said, look, we want the best gaming headset out there and uh, we're going to reach out to other people who have already done it better than we have. So they reached out to Valve and, and they did a cool collaboration with Valve for the audio. Uh, this is going to have pretty much the same audio as the Valve Index. And I'm excited about that because the Index is one of the headsets that I do not own. So I know you guys, if you are watching, I know it's the middle of the night. I've been up all night. I've had a few. Uh, you're going to hear me blah, 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 uh, a thousand miles a minute. Um, so, you know, sorry. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into the box. That's what you guys probably came here to see. I am going to look over my shoulder to see if anybody's watching. And hey, yeah, the real Superman 217, you are first. Thank you so much for showing up on the stream tonight, here in the middle of the night, unannounced. Um, we got Aaron Duggar, um, ended up going with a Quest 2 over this because the wireless. Really looking forward to trying one of these in person. Don't think, you know, and John Smith VR. Hey, you know, I gotta tell you, I love the Quest 2 as well. Uh, th this headset is quite possibly, other than my Pimax 8KX, my favorite VR headset right now. It has it, its advantages, but when it comes to true raw horsepower and VR, I am a visuals junkie, guys. And so far, other than the Pimax 8KX, I have not seen another 4K headset that really does justice for things like media and watching movies, 3D movies, uh, you know, stuff like that, virtual desktop applications. So that's what I'm most excited about here. So anyway, um, all right, looks like uh, we've got a few viewers now. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box. Now, I did already cut the tape seal. Um, I, I just wanted to open it up, kind of see what was in here. 
And uh, you know, I gotta say, I really like the fact that it, it's 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 in a cloth bag. It's very nice. It's very protected. Uh, the box itself, uh, since we are unboxing, really black. Um, black on black on black. You've got the uh, silver HP logo here. Um, so probably could have done with a little more color pop from a retail perspective. Now I know this isn't going to be on retail shelves, so what the hell. But I'm an old retailer. I worked for Radio Shack for too many years, so I'm a, I'm a box junkie. My wife hates it. I keep all the boxes out in the garage. and You know, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of hard to see the headset stand off of that black background. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. So, all right, we don't care about the box, right? So here we go. Um, let's go ahead and uh, obviously we always start with the little book of stuff and stuff. <coughs> Who cares? All right, so the headset. Wow. Okay, I just picked up the headset out of the box. Cord's not attached yet, but just the headset itself feels like there's nothing in my hand. This thing is so lightweight. Uh, wow. I mean, wow. I, I'm, I'm truly blown away here. So um, that is not some cheap paper little bag. So that's cool. You know, that, that little meshy paper stuff that you seem to get in a lot of these, uh, these boxes. So here we go. Here we go. Ready? Do it slow. Do it slow. Do it slow. Ah, oh, yes. I love it already. I love that form factor. That is so freaking nice because, you know, once again, it still kind of retains the form factor of the original Oculus Rift CV1. So let's see if I can grab, um, I'm just going to make a mess of my headset shelf here tonight. So yeah, look at that. So, I mean, there's the, uh, the old trusty Oculus Rift CV1 right there. There is the 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 reverb G2, so I, I'm I, you know I'm not pulling out old headsets here just for fun. I I just I really I always liked the form factor of the original Rift. It, it just felt good on my head. So very happy to see that it is very similar to the reverb G1 and maintains that that CV1ish um, form factor. But guys, let me tell you. I gotta mention it again, the weight. The weight is practically nothing on this thing. So, um, all right. Um, now there is another great feature right there. Um, I remember being on the original HP uh, press call and the guy who designed this was so, so happy that he put that in. And, and I am too. I mean, cause that really makes a difference being able to flip that headset up like that. Uh, especially for those of us who wear glasses and, you know, I've got to put my glasses on and get them in there. And, you know, it is a pretty tight fit. I'm not going to lie. Um, really wondering if I can uh, recycle some of my old Widmo lenses for something else or, or do something because I'm terrified I'm going to scratch those lenses. So um, lenses, I don't know if you guys can see very easily. Um, lenses are an interesting shape. They're a little bit of a different shape. Uh, I've got a little contours to them. Um, they, they are your typical Fresnel lenses. So you guys know the first thing I'm gonna be looking for as soon as I put this on my head is the dreaded God rays. I still hate them. Really, really wish we could get away from the days of Fresnel lenses. I know it's for weight. I know there's all sorts of trade-offs, but God, I just miss glass aspheric lenses. I, I you know, I, I did the mod on, on one of my Cosmoses here. I did the uh, Gear VR lens mod. If you guys are interested, I have a video of that. Go check it out made a world of difference. I mean, absolute night and day difference here. So, all right, but yeah, I'm going to talk about all those old headsets. So there is the, um, the valve off ear audio here. Um, this, this should be from what I'm hearing identical to the, uh, the valve index. 
Uh, very excited about that. I've only used the index a couple of times, but the one thing that I keep remembering about my experience with that headset was the audio quality. So very cool there. Um, other than that, looks like it has a, a very easily uh, detached, looks like magnetic uh, face plate. Uh, we've got a, uh, a little light blocker here for the nose. Hopefully that doesn't bother me. I, I really do not like the feeling of things touching my um, nose. Um, but I do like that. I like how that just magnets on the uh, the, the foam padding covering here, very soft uh, to the touch. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a lot of foam there though. So I'm wondering how that's gonna feel on my head during gameplay. Uh, a little back padding there. Looks like a little uh, cord strain relief. So, all right, there is the headset. So we will go ahead and place that down there out of the way and see if anything else is in the box. Of course, there is other things in the box because we have the newly redesigned Windows Mixed Reality controllers. And I can tell you right now, straight off the bat, just picking them up in my hand, these feel so much better than any of the other Windows Mixed Reality controllers that have come before it, even the ones that were redesigned for the Samsung Odyssey Plus, which I also have back there. That actually has been my favorite Windows Mixed Reality headset up until now, and anybody that's looking for a bargain headset, man, if you're entry level, even though it's got the two camera Windows Mixed Reality tracking, I would actually recommend the Odyssey Plus. Still, sometimes you can pick that headset up for like less than 200 bucks if you find it out there on sale or used. So, you know, but you're still gonna suffer. These, wow, weighted much better. Um, I like the redesign, the fact that it actually has like real gaming buttons. Yeah, this is going to rock. I mean, these feel good in my hands. I was, I was kind of worried they were going to be real flimsy feeling like the original, um, you know, like the Acer had a horrible Windows Mixed Reality controllers. Uh, even the ones that came with the Reverb G1 were not that great because they were just stock. So, first Windows Mixed Reality controllers that I actually might like. So, very cool there. We've got some plastic to peel. I'll do all that here in a little while. So, lastly, into the box. Here we go into a little secondary box. I'm assuming this is where we have all of our cords and other stuff and whatnot. And it is. So, let's get a... Yeah, interesting. Wow, this thing must take some juice. I've not seen anything like this on any of my other VR headsets. So almost looks like a little mini laptop adapter here. So very interesting there. I'm assuming that is what powers our headset. There's our standard EIC cord uh, to plug that in. But this is what I wanted to get a look at real quick. So I, you know, on the original HP Reverb G1, another horrible drawback to it was its cord. It, it, the cord was absolutely just, it was a three cord. It was similar to the, uh, to the old Vive cord. I don't know if you guys can see that. It might be off camera. Um, it was similar to the old Vive cord, like the original where it has the three cords uh, meshed together and it was very, very rigid and very, very short. So obviously, once again, the G1 was not intended to be a gaming headset. It was intended for seated enterprise use. So they, they really didn't put a lot of thought into the cord. Uh, this seems standard, uh, seems very similar to the cord like with my 8KX, uh, my Rift S, about the same uh, uh, width here, oh, sorry, a girth, but man, this, okay, so it seems long. Uh, and I have to look at the exact spec, but I mean, that is gonna go really nicely with my overhead uh, pulley system here. 
So, would also very much like to see a wireless solution. I, I've gotten very spoiled at using the Cosmos Elite with that really good but goofy antenna looking uh, antenna um, for, for the Vive uh, wireless adapter. It works fantastic. Uh, the Ygig technology is solid. So th this is also solid. Uh, thank you HP for giving us a long cord right off the bat. I mean that's a lot of cord there and that is definitely going to come in handy. So um, last but not least, there's a couple of other things here in the box. Um, Looks like we've got a mini display port to display port adapter um, for laptop use and a, what is this? Oh, some sort of a little dongle. So interesting. Interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is a USB to USB-C dongle. So I'll have to dive in and see what this is all about. So definitely some pieces in this headset that I am not too familiar with. I, I've, you know, obviously I've never seen a headset come with a little laptop brick. Obviously it's to power it, I know. I know what it's for, but it's just different, you know. Um, and, and that. So definitely gonna have to figure out what those are all about. Now, we have finished unboxing it let's get in there I'm gonna answer some questions if there are any I'm gonna look over my shoulder and if you guys want to hang out I will leave the camera running you let me know I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and get it set up and hell maybe maybe we'll even play a game I don't know let's see if we can get that far but first I'm gonna see if anybody is actually watching at all so all right um uh, looks like we do have some questions, and uh, thanks guys for showing up. You're going to look at my back here for a minute while I answer your questions. Uh, yeah, I miss Radio Shack too. Man, I was a district manager for them. I uh, had like 14, 15 stores across four states. Um, so, hey John Smith. Um, Chad Severinsen. Yes, this is the retail um, HPG2. Th this is the final retail unit. Uh, just got it today. Um, yeah, cannot wait to get it plugged in. Um, uh, what do I plan on doing about glasses until Widmo makes some inserts? Um, you know, normally what I do is I will just, I, I mean, I've got all sorts of old, like these are, I don't remember who made these. Uh, these were for my like original Oculus Rift and sometimes I can just get those in there and kind of, you know, get them in place to hold them correctly. Um, I do have another pair of glasses that are smaller that I use for headsets as well. Um, or, you know, sometimes I will even go so far as to see if the Widmo lens cups for say something like my uh, Quest here or something like that. You know, it, 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 that almost looks to have the same shape as the lens. If it's the same shape, same size, sometimes I'll just try to pop it on there and see what happens. Um, I, I feel eventually uh, we are probably going to uh, see, you know, companies like Widmo, VR Lens Lab, uh, you know, um, things like that. They're, they're probably going to come out with lenses for those pretty quickly. Uh, I just personally wish, now I'm going to throw this in here. Man, old Gear VR. Okay, it's the only one that ever freaking did it. Why, why are we not getting a, a diopter adjustment as well? I mean, I know it's a little extra hardware, but come on VR manufacturers, think of us. Think of us sight impaired. I mean, half of your damn user base is probably glasses wearers. So give us the ability to mechanically set that diopter, and then we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, which would suck for, you know, Widmo and all those other guys because they'd go out of business real quick. But, I don't know, I, I just, to be able to dial in my perfect prescription, it's like the frickin' dream come true. So, alright, um, let's see here, it's like the CB1 and the Deluxe Audio Strap had a baby, absolutely, uh, I can see that. Uh, you know, alright, I don't have a scale, I can't give you the exact weight, but man, I'm telling you, yeah, probably. Like this is this is probably one of the lightest headsets that I have in my whole collection now, and I got like 14 headsets back there. 
So yeah, this thing, I mean, it, it's it it feels plasticky, okay? I'm not going to it's not cloth wrapped like the original one was and it doesn't really have that super premium feel because you do feel that just kind of, you know, injection molded plastic. Uh, but weight wise, wow, uh, I cannot wait to get this thing on my head. So, um yeah, I, it is going to be fun. Uh, please turn on the G2. How big is the FOV? How good are the new lenses? Can you still see the screen door effect? Yeah, all right, John. You know, I, I have every intent to do that. So I, you are the last question down. Um, I am going to go ahead and get it hooked up, and we're going to see. Now, if not, uh, I am going to be doing a full review. <laughs> Pretty much just did it, I guess, or at least part of it during the unboxing. Uh, but I am going to be doing a full review after I've gotten a couple of days with it under my belt. Uh, you know, I. But yeah, if I can, right here, right now on this stream, I am going to hook this thing up. We're just going to hang out, um, and uh, we'll give it a try. And I'll give you guys my raw first thoughts once I get it up and running. So. All right, uh, just let me know if you have any other questions in the chat. I am going to go ahead and get the cord installed here and get us up and running. So I guess while I do that, I can babble a little bit. So obviously we have uh, some great news here in the U.S. today. I don't know if any of you guys follow any of that, and I'm not really a huge political guy, but... Um, Joe Biden is the, the 46th president of the U.S. And hopefully that is going to bring about some much needed change in this country. All right. So with that out of the way, here we go. We're going to go ahead and plug in. Um, should be pretty standard. Just slide and click. There we go. Wait, I probably should have run that through the top. Sorry, so we'll pull that back out. All right, see, you guys, are, this is the raw experience right here. I am, like, not filtering anything. There we go. Ah. Get that. And... There. All right. So, straighten relief, it seems to want to pop back off pretty easily. Now, that is not something that's too horrible and easily fixed. So, there we go. There we go. No, I just had to pop it into the grooves there. So, all right, the cable is on. And let's go ahead and put our faceplate back on. And then we'll get a little fitment test going here. So once again, really like that. And what do we have here? Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, yay, IPD slider. You rock, HP. All right. So not going to lie, that is, I love the Oculus Quest 2. But man, Oculus, huge fail on going back to single screen and no mechanical IPD that moving those lenses that's I don't like it so anyway all right like you guys care what I think all right so um, let's see here let's go ahead and get the strap kind of where I think I'm gonna want it so you know it may be old school, but this strapping system, like I said, this is very akin to the Oculus Rift CV1, and uh, it works for me. I just, I, I like the way the strapping system works. There we go. All right, so there we go. Got that about where I think everything's going to go. I'll get rid of that because I just think that's just ridiculous. So, all right, let's feel it. Oh yeah, okay. Now, I say that I like the uh, the the CV1 system here, and but you see all that I immediately reach back here because I was trying to ratchet the thing to my head, doing it that way. 
What I like about this system is, is that, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe I've got like a weird misshapen head or a forehead, but sometimes I like to pull one side a little tighter than the other uh, to, to kind of get the, the, the HMD to angle correctly on my face. But, all right, so before we even plug it in and turn it on here, um, like I said, I'm just kind of getting the fitment straight. And I can tell you right now, with very little effort, just because I've put a hundred HMDs on my head over the years, uh, I knew my strap settings, I knew kind of where I needed this to be without any hesitation, boom, it feels great. Uh, I mean, oh my gosh. It's snug to my face, but it's super baby soft against my skin. And, and I do have very sensitive skin. I like the fact that I can tilt it because once I tilt it, I can get the perfect, the perfect alignment right here on my cheeks and on my forehead. And I am happy to say very, very little light bleed and I do not feel that touching the top of my nose. So right on HP, you guys rock. Okay, the, 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 the designers of this headset, I am gonna give you props. It is lightweight, it is comfortable. Um, it, this is a little weird to me because I keep wanting to feel the headphones against my ears. Uh, definitely can't wait to see the difference this makes. Um, but that's going to take some getting used to because I, I don't feel anything touching my ears. Uh, but other than that, man, the, the whoever designed this headset, thumbs up, double thumbs up. I am loving the way that this feels on my head. So, all right, let's go ahead and take it off. It is now fit. It is set for me. Um, I am super stoked about that. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside, get my glasses back on so I can see and talk to you guys and see what's going on here. Oh, hey, Eric Hartley, my buddy E minus is in the chat. What's going on, Eric? Um, yeah, it does seem like the um, it, it's pretty much I don't see a whole lot of difference in the form factor uh, in the cable attachments. It, it's kind of like the G1 on steroids it, it, it just it feels good it looks good but it feels familiar it looks familiar so um stream keeps pausing for you yeah man I'm, I'm really hoping the stream is not sucking guys my internet is freaking horrible here in springfield however two weeks i am getting fiber optic i'm about to go 980 down 980 up so you guys will never see a bad choppy live stream from me again and if it is choppy for you tonight i apologize i really hope it's not um all right um oh no um yeah, I will try to do a through the lens shot, but all I've got is a webcam, man, so I don't even know how I could get it up in there. Um, do my existing sweat covers uh, fit the face plate? Are you talking about the sweat covers, or what sweat covers? Are you talking about the face pad from the G1? Um, I, I do have some like VR cover stuff, but it is, I don't have anything for this specific headset and each one is similar, but not, I have used my old VR covers in the past, just swapping them out, even all the way back to some for the DK2 because they had my name embroidered on them from VR cover. But, um, yeah, um, front cameras look like eyes. They do. Um, no, you do not have a knob on the back of my head. I was just talking about that. It uses the old style strapping system, which is just Velcro. Um, so, um, stream is very choppy shit. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, hold on guys. Let me, let me see if I can do something about that. It, I guarantee it's my internet. My internet is absolutely horrible here. Um,
Yeah, it, I, I don't think it's... I'm sorry, man. Oh, my God. This is really breaking my heart because I thought I was doing such a good stream and now you guys are telling me it's shitty and choppy. Um, yeah, okay. Well, it's good that the sound isn't choppy. I mean, you guys can just, I guess, listen to it <laughs> like a podcast. Yeah, here, watch an unboxing. Um, anyway, um, all right. Let's see. It's livable. Sound is fine. Okay, well, thanks. I appreciate that. I, I really don't stream very often. I usually do the whole polished, edited video stuff. So, all right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, clear some space here. Um, I need to get this little guy right here. Right, and there's our kind of funky laptop adapter looking thing. So like I was saying, it's serious power supply for this thing, um, you know. Um, obviously, I do have a few other uh, VR headsets over the years that have required a power supply, but uh, nothing like this. So, nice, free plug, so that's always helpful. go so it looks like that power supply is going to plug in right here at the cable bridge and I uh, like that so that lines up nicely so I can do a little cable management there or maybe kind of hold that in place so that works all right so now question is, is do I have a free port on the back of my PC? Probably do because I've got my Pimax plugged in here. So we'll just go ahead and unplug the Pimax. Um, and you know, for those of you guys who watch my channel, you may not have noticed, I finally upgraded my PC. So yay for that. Um, finally rocking. Oh, now, okay, never mind. Hold on. Got to gotta show something here. This is interesting. So, just noticed that it is a DisplayPort and USB-C cable um, on the end. That is what the USB-C to USB adapter is for. Now, luckily, um, on the back of the MSI motherboard in this iBuyPower PC that I just bought, um, it actually has a USB-C connector. So, I'm assuming maybe that was meant for Virtual Link, um, which unfortunately died out. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to try plugging this into my USB-C port, which I won't have to unplug a hard drive, but that's all right. And let's see. All right. I heard the ding, the ding, the ding. And all right, there we go. So it is plugged in. So far, nothing has powered up yet. Now, obviously, um, this is a new PC, and yes, it is wanting to automatically, I don't know if you guys can see that back there, but it is already instantly installing the software for Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, now, I shouldn't have to restart the PC to get it working. Um, all right. Oh, it looks like some civilians are getting there. It's awesome. You know, yeah, um, all right, let's see here. Uh, are you going to test some games tonight? I, you know, I might. Um, it is 1.15 in the morning, but it's Saturday, and I am on such a high today. Guys, I'm not saying I'm high. I, I'm just on a high. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, if, if it offends you, I'm sorry. I, I am a Biden supporter. I voted for the guy. I was really happy uh, to see him uh, become president today. So, you know, I've been celebrating, I've been partying, that's why I didn't really get to this, because the minute this showed up on my door, boom, they made the announcement and everything just got crazy. So, um, that's why we're doing this in the wee hours of the morning. Um, so, but I'm going to try, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be playing some games. I don't know may have to start a whole new stream because I don't know if I can do all that on camera and get it all switched over, but we're going to try. I've never tried it. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it together. Okay. 
Um, um, some dude from Shanghai. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So, got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and hit get started. I agree. Uh, check, 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 check. Everything on my new PC checks out. Let's move my chair over here. So, maybe you guys can see that in the background. I don't know. Um, and, all right. Yes, I've already adjusted everything. Oh, wait. Duh. It wants me to turn on my controllers, which, yes, HP has got the batteries in there already. Yeah. There we go. And I'm assuming, I need to read the manual. I, I got to see, I'm assuming it's going to have the Bluetooth pairing directly to the headset. Uh, I know some of the latter Windows Mixed Reality headsets did that, and that kind of cleared up some of the tracking issues with the controllers. Um, another thing I do like, I'm just, I'm a sucker for blinky lights. You guys can see them all over the place. I like the fact that the controllers light up. I just think that that's cool. I don't know. My kids dig it too. They say it looks like Christmas. So, anyway. All right, there we go. Um, controllers paired automatically. Um, get to know them. I already know them. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do a setup. And let's create a boundary. Next, we'll sign your headset. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the part that gets a little tricky here, um, especially since I'm trying to stay in front of the camera, but I kind of need to be over here. So you guys may see me walk off camera for a second while I'm doing this. Uh, this uh, set up so stand by because I also need to get my remote control keyboard and mouse and that's going to make it a little more handy so I can actually click what I need to where I need to so stand by Now, I do find it interesting that, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that here for a second. So I do find it interesting that HP wants me to use the headset to walk around the room. Pretty much everybody else is standardized to just drawing the boundaries with the controllers. That would be, when, and I don't think that's HP, I think this is Windows. This is Windows Mixed Reality. So Microsoft, up it, come on, just standardize guys let's, let's all draw the boundaries the same way because walking around with the headset and the cord is kind of annoying so just just saying so all right let's see here My boundaries are going to look crazy, but that's all right. I don't care. There you go. All right. Well, this is like the jankiest ass video I've ever done. You guys are just watching all this go down raw. So, sure. Accept them. I don't care. All right. You want to stay? Skip that for now. Sure, use speech. All right, so hang tight while we finish up some downloading. Now, that's gonna probably go a little slow because obviously I'm streaming to you guys and I'm trying to um, download at the same time. So, we're gonna go ahead and have a seat and we will uh, we'll just uh, talk a little bit. So, all right. Um, let's see. All right, so um, da, 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 da. Windows Mixed Reality takes a little while to install if it wasn't already installed on the PC. And you know, Eric, I didn't even think about that because I just got the new PC last week and I didn't, 
I wanted it to be fresh. I, I've had these hard drives in my other PC for years. I didn't feel like transferring anything over. This one had plenty of space. So no, I, everything is going to be virgin. I, I did not think about that. Um, la, 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 la. <laughs> Windows, um, the Windows Mixed Reality. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't hate PyTool. Okay, I, I think the Pi Tool is actually extremely functional if, if you know how to tune it because it gives you the opportunity to do things with the Pi Max headsets that you can't do with anything else. Like I can adjust my contrast and my brightness. A lot of people have been asking me, the number one thing I've been being asked about since I posted the picture receiving this today is, oh my God, how does the, the LCD screen look? Well, you know, with Pimax at least giving me the ability to control the contrast and the brightness, I can make their LCD screen look a little bit better and get those blacks deeper and make those colors pop. So, I don't know. I don't know the hate for the Pi Tool. I like the Pi Tool. So, and, and I like the new Pimax um, home experience that incorporates the Pi Tool into a, a virtual reality environment. So, all right. Um, oops, something happened. There you go. Everything just blipped. Um, yeah, when that yeah, I knew it was built into Windows 10. Um, like I said, I've got two other Windows Mixed Reality headsets. What am I waiting on Christmas? Um, no, well, I'm waiting on everything to install. Um, doo -doo -doo, yeah, Steam VR does it transfers over. Uh, my stream just cleared up. Great. No, nope, now it's choppy again. I'm telling you guys, I'm sorry. It is my internet, and this really breaks my heart because I I did not want this stream to suck. But rest assured, I am going to pretty much regurgitate all these thoughts again into a nice edited video, hopefully sometime by the end of the week, uh, where I'll do a full review of the headset. So, um, um, I did not know that Windows uh, Mixed Reality had hand and finger tracking, so I will definitely look for that. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is not user friendly. Okay, yeah, thanks. I, 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 you know, and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to defend it. I, you know, I could give a crap less, but I got to give Pimax credit. They have been making strides, and I've always given them credit, and I will give them credit right here one more time for unlocking features in the headset that I want. I want full control. I want brightness. I want contrast. I want individual color stream which I get all of that I, I want the ability to individually shift each screen in software so that I can get that perfectly dialed in mechanical plus um, software IPD to make it really look good so you know I'm just I'm imploring all the other developers man just don't treat us like babies you know for the advanced guys like me give me a checkbox and a, I, I agree if I screw it up or whatever and then open up the headset let me play with it so anyway all right can I compare it to the CV one when I try it out uh, that's what you've got currently I can already tell you David it is going to be uh, one trillion miles above the CV one um, I've got other headsets that are in the kind of same class even the G1 compared to the CV-1, other than tracking. Now, it, 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 straight visuals, it's going to kill it. Um, audio, it's going to kill it. Um, tracking, I don't know. CV-1 might still have an edge, so we will see. Um, all right, so it looks like, oh, it says it's ready. So we are going to go ahead and uh, put the headset on for the first time. Um, interestingly enough, the HP logo lights up. So I, you know, I love lights, love blinky lights. I don't know, anything that has blinky lights. Um, I can see uh, that uh, I'm going to give you guys a look before me. Um, so the headset has lit up. Um, there you go. Somebody asked if I could do a through the lens. Yeah, that's probably going to be really difficult with a webcam. Like I said, I just I can't get it at the right angle. So I apologize. I cannot do a through the lens. All right, we tried. Um, okay, here we go. Where are my big glasses, though? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wait, what happened? Okay, what? Well, something happened. Everything went black. Stand by. What did I do? Connect my headset.
Okay. Because I'm not standing in my boundaries. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, so I'm not in my boundaries here. Okay, stand by, guys. First time putting on a new headset. So I can see my boundaries, but everything is black. Um, and I think that's because something wigged out and the headset rebooted. Might be my PC just getting it ready still. Um, but I'm hearing audio, and I, like I said, I'm seeing my boundaries, and I'm hearing the little clicks like I'm moving around. So hold on, let me go ahead and reboot the uh, Windows Mixer Ready portal here. Ah, there we go. It said it was having some sort of a weird issue, but it's still not. So, all right. Shut that down. going on here but I'm getting once again I'm seeing my boundaries but I'm not um, I'm not seeing anything other than a black screen and the boundaries so we're gonna go ahead and we'll unplug and replug let's see if that fixes I do need to reboot and that's gonna suck because that will kill the stream. So stand by. It says everything is ready. And there, there you go. See, you guys can see what I'm seeing now. So there you go. I mean, you can kind of see it back there. But yeah, I'm seeing my boundaries but everything's just a black screen. Let me try to start Steam VR. Because um, normally that should have just taken me into the Windows Cliff House. Go ahead and see what you guys are saying. Uh, the screens are IPS LCD. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. Um, Yeah, and I guess that's where I screwed up. Um, it's probably going through its setup and updating itself. Ah, Windows Y, okay, that's a good one. But that usually just transferred the keyboard and mouse control. Um, so, but I will try that. Um, hey, how's it going, Yakub Mizuo 1618? Um, Super, super live. Uh, how was it? Okay, so yeah, Jeff, uh, it, it went over my glasses and these are my oversized glasses just fine. It, it felt like it was gonna be kind of tight um, going in, but I don't feel my lenses clicking against the lenses here. So that's, that's really good. Um, I, I was kind of worried about that. Uh, we were talking about that earlier on the stream, how I was going to try to take some of my old Widmo adapters and kind of Frankenstein something up for this. So, all right, I don't know what's going on here, guys, and I do apologize. Um, let me just kind of mess around here and see if we can get something up on the screen. Um, but, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. We'll try the win why thing. Um, somebody was saying win why here. Okay. And see, yeah, that just says to use the desktop instead of the headset. And, and 
can see I am in my boundaries, so I should be seeing something here. So obviously something has gone awry. Let's go ahead and try to completely unplug and replug even down to the USB level. Um, another thing, like I said, and I'll just bring this up again, I am trying to just plug this directly into the little USB-C port on the back of my PC. Uh, there is an adapter, but since I have it, um, so that might be part of it. I, yeah, I don't know. Never used this port before. All right. There we go. Okay, it looks like the stream might be getting choppy for some of you guys again. I'm sorry. Hey, but we got picture back. So that's that did it. All right, so now I can put it on and I can kind of blah, blah, blah about what I'm seeing. And I hope that uh, the, the stream is not too horrible for you guys. Um, but yeah, I can see that it is chopping out. Great. Wonderful. Fucking internet. I fucking hate my internet. All right, well, here we go. So, all right, right off the bat, I am in a weird purple world, uh, but wow, is it clear. Um, so I've got my headset adjusted. Okay, um, next. No, no. I guess because it's capturing my mic. Hi okay. there, I'm Cortana, well, and hi, I'll Cortana, walk you through blah, setting blah, blah. up your mixed yeah, reality world. But until times. that's done, but our wow. conversation okay, will be entirely in one-sided. I won't be able to answer your questions. After we're finished here, I'll Hold be ready on. to help you out with other things. Uh, First, take a look at your surroundings. Stop talking. This bright boundary is designed to help you avoid obstacles, like walls. It's based on the tracing you did earlier. It will light up when you come close. Yes, I understand that how boundary works. You know how do I skip this? It's time to take care and move slowly. Can I skip this? To turn around, move either one of your thumbsticks from side to side. Oh, big net. To cover or larger vignette. distances and in this science fiction world, you'll teleport using. And you made it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show it. you yeah. how to select All right, things. Right, so sorry, I am First, literally stuck in setup hell here. I then cannot pull the trigger. Um, find a way to get out of it. Let's see, maybe the other controller. No, looks like it's going to make me do all of this. Hold on just a second here, guys. Yes. But I guess while she's yapping in my ear, I can yap in yours for a minute. Nice um, work. Look, more gems. Here's I can a tell you tip. right off if the bat. If you have a microphone, the, the you can also do a lot with just your voice. Is phenomenal. Try using voice to select uh, a gem. The, yeah. Gaze at one, then say select. Select. Yeah, all right, cool. The mic's working. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, the, wow, you got the it. colors are Let's go are check good. out that last glowing platform. Uh, I, I Teleport gotta say, over now. for an LCD screen? Okay, maybe she won't talk. Maybe now I can just, um, hold on. Let me see if I can do something. Stand by. This is going to really screw up the whole stream, I'm sure. There we go. All right, there we go. So, sorry, I had to make a couple of adjustments there. 
Uh, but now you guys can actually at least see what I'm seeing in the headset uh, while I describe it. So, all right, I'm just going to stick right here. I'm not even going to go anywhere else uh, in the tutorial because then she'll just start yap, yap, yapping again. So, all right, questions that were asked. Um, you guys have, the number one question has been about the visuals. And I am happy to say that, wow, this looks good. Uh, I mean, the depth looks great. The, 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 the clarity is phenomenal. Um, I, I am, if I'm seeing SDE, it is the finest mesh and I am struggling to see it. I mean, absolutely struggling to see it. Uh, the contrast looks freaking great. Uh, the, the colors actually, I mean, I'm not going to say they pop, but the greens are green. The, the black on the rocks is black. The, the sky looks incredible. Those clouds, like right there, those clouds look freaking real. So, wow. Uh, I mean, absolutely freaking wow. I'm sure you've seen a lot of also boundary and weird crap on the screen, and I apologize if you are. So, all right, let, let me get to the actual cliff house and man i'm so sorry that this stream is sucking guys but i'm just gonna let it go and then i'll probably delete the shit um i just i feel embarrassed all right teleport to the last one platform Ooh, where i bet it will go to the go to start I do like the fact that it has the Cortana uh, voice integration. Um, there we go. <gasps> wow! <gasps> That's really cool. Oh, okay, this is different though. Um, okay. Um, what do you say you just let me skip all this because I already know how to use all of it and I don't need it. Okay, so love the Cliff House. I, I will say that even back in the day when this first came out, this was night and day um, different than the Oculus Home because Oculus Home was just one room. And this actually was a house. You could have a little house and you could put different stuff in different rooms and, you know. But this is all new. The, the last time I was in the Cliff House, it did not have um, all of this pre-selectable stuff. So very cool that they've added all that. Now, back to the headset now that we have some more scene to check out. Once again, contrast, freaking great i mean just the, the the contrast of the lights and the darks on everything looks great um like i said once again staring out and this is where i normally come in a windows mixed reality headset and i stare right out this way um if i'm seeing sde once again it is absolutely minimal i mean so minimal i'd have to strain to find it um, so, you know, that right there is great news. Um, the, the colors are not bothering me at all. In fact, this looks better than my Pimax 8KX. Um, no, no, ooh, nah, controller was just on the ceiling though. Now, I am standing in front of very bright lights. Um, I am not in a typical play um, space so you know you might see some tracking anomalies right now because literally I'm confined in this little thing I've got a PC here I've got wires all over the place I've got lights over there cameras and I can't really move and I'm not even in my boundaries as you might be able to see on the screen so alright guys you know at this point I noticed the stream has been running about an hour I'm curious here though let's see here hold on let me get my um, how about mm, okay? Nice. That's what I wanted to do anyway. There we go. There we go. 
We'll just go with that for now. See if my stream is going. I'm gonna see how bad it looks for you guys. I don't use Edge, so I don't really care. I'm not sure. Live now. There we go. Wow. It's inception y right here. I'm going to watch myself streaming to myself. I'm frozen. Uh oh. Well, that sucks. So, all right, cool. Um, so, there we have it, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, I will um, play some games. Man, okay, so, like, I would love to play some games, guys, but I have to clean up the studio here. Um, oops, now we're, hold on. Now we're getting double, double audio here. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, I would love to play some games. I promise I will come back and play some games. This stream has been going a little over an hour. Oh, the FOV? Uh, much better than most of my other headsets, not as good as my Pimax. Um, it is definitely wider than the Quest 2, it's wider than the Rift, uh, not by much. I mean, it, it seems a little wider. Um, seems a little narrower, um, but it, it seems a little wider. Um, Final impressions compared to the 8KX. So, all right, you guys know I love my Pimax 8KX. I do. I love that headset because of that right there, because of the FOV. Um, as far as, like, the actual image that I'm seeing, the clarity is on par with the 8KX. I... I almost want to think that the image in this is a tad bit sharper, but hear me out. That's because the FOV is not as wide. So, you know, if you take the FOV and you stretch it out, obviously things are going to blur slightly, even on the highest resolution screens. So, you know, with this one having your standard, I would probably call it that standard 1, 1, 105 maybe um, FOV. It seems very similar to the original reverb. I, in fact, I don't see very much difference at all. Um, you're going to have that tighter image, so obviously it's going to look better. Um, as far as like reading text and things, but you know when you look off in the distance Oops, oh, I just punched my new PC uh, When you look off in the distance uh, the clarity is there. It's great There's where I don't really see much of a difference between my AKX and the Reverb G2 here uh, Up close text right here on a white background. Oh, yeah, um, it's night and day. This is clearer so, um, all right, um, once again, Muncha King, man, I will, I will come back and play some games. I promise. Um, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I'm here all day. Maybe I'll just do a live stream tomorrow where I just play games in this thing. Um, so let me look for any last minute um, questions here in the chat. Um, thanks for checking the Ferrari Four Eyes. Uh, yeah, man, guys, I am so sorry. I'm, I just, I'm shit at streaming. I'm so bad at it. Um, and plus my internet. But like I said, next week I am getting new internet, um, because I plan to do more streaming. Um, you know, um, yeah, Cortana is bloatware. Yes, I agree. Um, so let's see here. What do you think about the controllers compared to the CB1 controllers? Um, okay, so compared to the CV1 controllers, no, those are still some of my favorite controllers of all freaking time. 
okay? Palmer and his team designed like one of the be the original touch controllers. The weight was good. I like the way that the ring wrapped around. Obviously, I understand that was for inside out, uh, outside in versus inside out tracking. But I don't know. Right now, I'm gonna tell you, the weight on these is good. The balance in my hands is good. Uh, I like the button placements. Um, everything, it sounds like teleport into a wall here. Um, let's open that roof up. I'm starting to feel a little claustrophobic. Um, everything is, uh, you know, it, it just feels good. And I, ha I don't have horribly large hands, uh, but I do, you know, I do um, not like the smaller controllers. Oh, I like the, how the battery indicator's right there. Uh, now that they have true ABXY buttons, you've got the, you know, the, the sticks feel good, the, the triggers feel good, so I like the controllers, um, I'm not going to lie. Um, haven't checked them out in gameplay yet, though, um, but yeah. Um, la, 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 la. Yeah, she's yapping, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is Windows VR required for this headset, or could it just launch directly into Steam VR? Okay, so you could launch directly into the Windows Mixed Reality version of Steam VR, which yeah, I mean it is Steam VR, um, but you always have the opportunity to come back to the Windows, so it's always kind of running in the background. Um, so. Um, USB-C on the GPU? No, USB-C on the motherboard. Um, my new PC came with a 2070 Super, and uh, at, by that point, most of the manufacturers were no longer. It's a gigabyte, and uh, I guess most of the people are just not putting the, uh, the USB-C on it anymore. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, all right, that's acceptable. Um, now you can start Steam. Yeah, I knew I could start Steam VR. Like I said, I've had Windows Mixed Reality for years. Um, let's see here. Man, this is some solid content. Yeah, I know my content sucks. Whatever. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Um, how? Um, uh, da, da, da. Um, sweet spot. Uh, no, it's light pure sweet spot. Well, I can say the sweet spot is great in this. Um, I'm not. Um, it's pretty wide. Uh, it's not as wide as I'd like, um, but it is definitely pretty wide. Um, I'm here for a new stream. Yeah, I know. I should probably have just started it all over, guys, but I just uh, my internet's so crap here right now, um, it wouldn't have made a difference. So, all right, it looks like we've gotten to the end of the chat, and Munch King, I, you know, next week, man, um, I, I heard Nate, people are starting to um, uh, see them in the wild in certain countries, so hopefully next week you guys are going to start getting shipments. And uh, I will be back um, here hopefully by the end of the week with, um, you know, a full review of the headset. Like I said, tonight was just my first impressions first raw impressions obviously uh, again i apologize for the the shittiness of the stream you can blame mediacom um just just mediacom that that is who you should hate right now not me um but rest assured fiber's coming um i can't wait to start streaming for you guys because i'm gonna do this a lot more often than the uh edited videos lately because it just takes up too much time but for me i am out um thank you guys for coming by the stream once again sorry it was so horrible i will get better um and I will see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Really want to get to 10,000 by the end of the year, guys. Help me out, please. Love you. I'll see you later.